In this lecture, we are going to cover the topic ecological degradation and environmental pollution. So the word ecology is coined in the year 1868 and it originated from the Greek word oikos that is home and logos the study of. So it is the study of a home. We can say in layman terms that ecology is the relationship between organisms and their respective environment. Coming to the levels in ecology, the first is organisms that are the single species. Then comes population when there is multiples of the same species. Third is community when the multiple species interbreed. Fourth is ecosystem, which is the structural unit of a biosphere. And what is this biosphere? When all of this is combined, it constitutes to become a biosphere. What is degradation then? Degradation is when the capacity of the species to survive is diminished, when there is an over-exploitation of the resources, when there is a depletion of natural resources like air, water and soil, when there is a destruction of habitat, extinction of wildlife, pollution, climate change, global warming, coral reef bleaching and many more. So what is this pollution that we are going to deal with in this lecture? Pollution is when Harmful substances are added to the atmosphere. It could be in the form of solid, liquid or gas. Coming to air pollution, when such harmful substances are added to the air, it degrades the air quality. What are some kinds of pollutants of air pollution? First is PM or particulate matter, which is, which is carcinogenic in nature. That means it can cause cancer. Some other diseases could be like the black lung disease. PM or the particulate matter is generally emitted by thermal power plants and steel industries. It is the biggest contributor of air pollution. It can result in acid rain. It can also take place due to fossil fuel burning, crop residue burning, urbanization, industries, etc. The second kind of pollutant is CFC, which is usually found in air conditioners, refrigerators, sprays. The third kind is smog, which is smoke plus fog. Next is volatile organic compound, which is found in paints, petroleums, air conditioners, and hydrocarbon burning which is due to vehicular emission these all contribute to air pollution now what are some of the measures to control or reduce air pollution first is capturing air pollution adapting to smart green technologies using clean energy utilizing compressed natural glasses reducing vehicular emissions by adhering to bs6 norms using lead free petrol and there are also some government initiatives like suffer air quality monitoring program air quality index etc moving ahead to water and marine pollution there are two types of water pollution. Types of water pollution are surface water pollution and groundwater pollution. Can be threat to water a lots of marine life also when we talk about marine pollution. So what are some of the causes? Sewage, oil spills, plastic debris. That's why we uh, you know emphasize so much on cleaning the oceans, the rivers, industrial waste, underground water pollution, agricultural waste in the forms of pesticides community waste and what are some of the diseases that are caused because of polluted water cholera blue baby syndrome blackfoot disease etc what are some of the measures that can be taken with this respect first is by the government the water pollution and prevention act of 1974 water quality monitoring namami gange jal shakti abhiyan these are some of the government initiatives 
Coming to noise pollution. Noise pollution is when there is a sound of more than 75 decibels. Noise pollution is checked under Noise Pollution Rules 2020, which is under the Environment Protection Act 1986. This rule was, uh, this act was recently amended. So what are some causes of noise pollution? Traffic noise, air traffic noise, construction sites, night lives, DJ, etc. And to prevent the spread of noise pollution, the government and other agencies have come up with the idea of creating silence zones, for example, near the hospitals, near schools, to prevent noise pollution from further spreading. The next kind of pollution is solid waste pollution. So solid waste is the byproduct of humans which is discarded and it is non-biodegradable and it is detrimental to the environment. It can be in solid, liquid or semi-solid form. Some of the types can be e-waste, plastic waste, biomedical waste, hazardous waste. Hazardous waste could be the explosive kind of or which are toxic or flammable in nature it can include pests also and radioactive waste also and domestic waste could include municipal solid waste so the solid waste management rules of 2016 they check for the increasing solid waste and have prescribed some of the rules which have to be followed for example open dumping have to be checked and a sanitary landfills are there where the precautions are taken and it is covered with barricades and waste disposal is also a problem which is looked into and classification of waste into solid and uh, sorry liquid and dry waste that is also checked into the government also keeps on initiating to reuse and recycle the things to reduce waste as much as possible in the first place only Another very important aspect of this is to practice composting where there is bioremediation that is microorganisms that are prepared naturally and artificially both they are used to compost the waste that is there in the environment so that it further does not uh, you know prove to be detrimental to the environment because it is very difficult to dump all of it and get rid of it you know because waste disposal has been a very difficult problem that many of the countries are facing today so the waste is categorized into biodegradable dry waste and domestic hazardous waste domestic hazardous waste also includes diapers mosquito repellents and all of these so what happens under these uh, solid waste management rules the segregation takes place and the fee is also given to the collector so that everything happens in a good manner a very feasible manner as well uh, the government has also doing its research on waste to energy models where research technique is you know put up into converting something from waste if you remember we used to do something like this in our schools where you used to get a day to convert something to make something best out of the waste materials that we have and that is what is happening today a lot of research and a lot of science is being put up into this waste to energy models one example is plasma gasification this is important you can read into it let us discuss some questions now question number first the atal bhujal yojana is so the atal bhujal yojana deals with what it deals with water management and water pollution so there are some facts about it let us see one by one. The Atal Bhujal Yojana is a central sector scheme. This is correct. Focused on community participation. This is also correct. It demands interventions for sustaining sustainable groundwater management in identified water stressed areas in seven states of the country. This is also correct. Karnataka is one of the uh, stressed areas state. This is also correct. So there are seven states including Karnataka, Rajasthan, uh, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat. You can just take a look and find about it. 
Question number two, which of these are not true about suffer? So we know that suffer is an initiate to check and control the air pollution. So if you look at option number C, it says that it helps to know about temperature based air quality. So this statement is wrong because it helps to know about location based air quality. Other than that, all the statements are correct. So the right answer will be option number C. This statement is not true as it is a location based air quality check. I hope you got this lecture. Thank you for watching.